Hello everyone. Today we're going to finish the last two skills in rates and proportional relationships, starting with writing proportional equations from tables, and then we're going to finish off with the last skill, which is just writing proportional equations. So let's start with tables. Just a quick reminder, the equation that we use is y equals rx, where r represents your constant of proportionality. And just a reminder to find our constant of proportionality, we're simply just taking y and dividing it by x. And remember, your constant of proportionality is just really a unit rate. So it says the following table shows a proportional relationship between x and y. Write an equation to describe the relationship between x and y. So I'm just going to write my formulas down, y equals rx, where r equals y divided by x. So the first thing we want to do is find our constant of proportionality. So I'm just going to plug in y. Let's, we'll use this first row here. So 9 over 2. Now you can leave it improper. You can convert it to a decimal, which would be 4.5. I'm going to leave it um, as an improper fraction for now. And now that we know what our constant is, all we're doing is just plugging it into our equation. So our proportional equation would be y equals 9 over 2 x. Let's try another one. Okay, the following table shows a proportional relationship between A and B. Write an equation to describe the relationship between A and B. Now, they're not using x and y anymore, but they would still function the same. So let's say A is where x would be and B is where y would be. So instead of our formula of y equals rx, instead our formula would be B equals R A. So let's use our first row to find our constant. So instead of Y divided by X, it's going to be B divided by A, which means our constant of proportionality is going to be 3 eighths. And again, we're just going to leave that as a proper fraction and plug it into our equation. So our equation here is going to be B equals 3 eighths Okay. Let's try another one. The following table shows a proportional relationship between W and Z. Write an equation to describe the relationship between W and Z. Again, this is similar to, to one that we just did. So W really is kind of functioning like your X would, and Z is functioning as your Y. You've got your input and your output. So to find our constant of proportionality, instead of y over x, we're doing z over w. So let's use that first row there. So I'm going to plug in 2 where z is and 18 where w is. And just keep in mind, I can simplify this because they're both even numbers, which means I can divide them both by 2. So that's going to give us a constant of proportionality of 1 over 9. Now our equation formula is normally y equals rx, but instead we're using w and z. So we're going to plug in z where y is. My constant of proportionality is 1 9th. And instead of x, we're going to use w. So the correct equation here is z equals 1 9th w. Okay, let's move on to writing proportional equations. We're going to be applying these same formulas um, y equals rx, and we're also going to be using r equals y divided by x. Uh, but instead now, instead of tables, we'll be dealing with some word problems. So right here I have a link for a video. We are going to watch this in class, but if for some reason you're not in class, this would be a good video to uh, watch. It kind of explains the process of writing a proportional relationship, and they use some great examples. So I would definitely um, encourage you to watch it if you uh, missed out in class on it. So for proportional relationships, you must multiply x by some number to get y. That's simply x is your input, y is your output. And all proportional equations follow these formulas. We've been mainly using y equals rx. Sometimes you'll see m as your constant of proportionality, but usually we'll use r. I believe Khan Academy uses r. The video from the previous slide, I believe, uses m. But those are um, two variables that we will um, typically see to represent your constant of proportionality or your unit rate. Okay, we have a few steps for writing proportional equations. It would be a good idea to write these down. 
your first step is to simply find your constant proportionality. That's your r equals y over x. Second step is to identify which variables represent y and x in your problem. Now, in a couple of the previous examples, you'll notice that they didn't use x and y. They used w and z, or they used, you know, other variables. So you have to kind of identify which variable represents y and which one represents your x. And then once you do that, you can write your equation, y equals rx using the variables from the problem. So let's try a few examples together. Stella the Clown does face painting at the City Carnival. She paints seven faces every 21 minutes. Write an equation that relates the number of faces she paints, x, I'm just gonna underline that, and the time she spends painting, y in minutes. So here they're giving us x and y, which makes it a little bit easier. Our first step is to find our constant of proportionality, where y represents our minutes, and x represents the number of faces. So we want to know how many minutes per face. Well, they say it takes her 21 minutes to paint seven faces, and now we just need to simplify this. What is 21 divided by seven? Well, we get the whole number three. So that means it takes three minutes per one face. So your constant of proportionality or your unit rate is three. And now just to plug it into our equation, y equals rx, our proportional equation would be y equals 3x. Let's try another one. The amount Troy charges to mow a lawn is proportional to the time it takes him to mow the lawn. Troy charges $30 to mow a lawn that took him an hour and a half to mow. Write an equation that models the amount in dollars, d, Troy charges when it takes him h hours to mow a lawn. Well, there's money involved and we know that with unit rates if there's money involved the money is always going to go on top so we're going to go we're going to do dollars per hour so r is going to equal dollars over hours so i'm going to plug in it's thirty dollars per one and a half hours and if you divide 30 by 1.5 on your calculator that's going to give you a, a unit rate or a constant of proportionality of 20. So it's $20 per one hour. So now, notice, normally your top variable would be your y over x. So in this case, d is functioning as your y. My constant of proportionality is 20. And my h is my x. So our equation here would be d equals 20h. So your total amount of dollars is going to be $20 per however many hours. Hannah reads three pages every eight minutes. Write an equation that shows the relationship between the number of pages she reads, P, and the number of minutes she spends reading. So we're trying to find the number of pages per minute. So I'm just going to write my keywords, pages per minute. This is going to be our constant of proportionality. So we're doing P over M. So it says she reads three pages every eight minutes. So three over eight, that's your constant. And now remember to find your constant, it's normally Y over X. So I'm just going to put in parentheses Y and X. So that means P is functioning as your Y and M is functioning as your X. So our equation then would be P equals RM. We're just going to plug in our constant of proportionality, which is 3 eighths. And that would be your proportional equation. Let's try one more. Shannon is playing a video game. She spends 500 minerals to create 20 workers. Each worker costs the same number of minerals. Write an equation to describe the relationship between M, the amount of minerals, and the number of workers. So we're doing minerals per worker. So R equals M over W, which means your M is functioning as your Y, and your W is functioning as your X. So let's plug in what we know. It says 500 minerals per 20 workers. 
So if we divide 500 by 20, that gives us a constant of proportionality of 25. So that means 25 minerals per one worker. Now we're just going to plug it into our equation. Instead of y equals rx, we're going to do m equals rw. So m stays. My constant of proportionality is 25, and w is going to stay as our variable. So this would be our equation. Okay, the correlating note-taking packet pages would be pages 25 through 27, and again, there is always the uh, videos in Khan Academy if you would like to see additional examples. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day.